Welcome to Microsoft Access Stage 2, Relationships, Queries and Report Design. My name is Kathy Barker. What I have in front of me is Access is Open, and a particular file that comes with this package called Class Management has also been opened. When I've opened this database, I can see in my navigation pane that there are six tables, and only six tables in this database. Let's have a look at the various tables you've been given. First of all, there's a table called TBL Student. If I double click the table TBL Student, I can see that at the moment I have seven students in this table. And I'll just close this table. If I then double click the table TBL Class, I can see I have five classes available in this table. And I'll close it. Another table is TBL Instructor. If I double click TBL Instructor, I can see this table contains five instructors who teach the various classes. And I'll close this table as well. The purpose of the table TBL Student in Class is to bring students and classes together. And if I double click and have a look at this table, I can see I have 20 students and classes currently brought together. Each student has been identified by a student ID and each class is identified with a class ID. So I'll just close this particular table. What I have in the table called TBL Assignment is a list of 14 assignments that have so far been done. And lastly I have a table TBL Result where I record the results that each student has got in each assignment. And I'll close this table. What I'd like to do now is look at relating these tables. Microsoft Access is a relational database and by that we mean we don't put all our eggs in one basket. We don't put all our records in one table. We divide our data into various tables depending on the nature of the data. But we then have to relate those tables so that we can effectively produce queries and create reports, bringing information from various tables together. In order to create a relationship, I first of all need to be in the Relationships window. So I'm just going to go to my Database Tools tab in my ribbon. And here I can see a Relationships group and a Relationships button. So I'm going to click the Relationships button. And I'll just maximise this window so I can see more clearly by double-clicking the word Relationships. What I can see in my Relationship window is that I have no tables showing. So I'm going to click the button Show Table. Here are a list of the six tables that I have in my database. And I wish to add all of these tables to my Relationships window. So I'm going to simply drag from Assignment to Student in Class and click the Add button and all the tables appear in the background. So now I can click the Close button. I'd like to logically arrange my tables and I'm just going to drag them by their names at the top. I'll put Assignments down here. I'll put Result over here. I'll put Student over here and move them around accordingly. Not only can you move the tables around, but you can also resize them so that you can see everything in a table. For example, the scroll bar tells me that I'm not seeing all the fields in my class table. So I'm just going to use this two-headed arrow and drag down and increase the size of the window. And that way I can see everything. So you can resize and move your tables easily. In order for a relationship to occur between two tables, they must have a field in common. And it's not so much the name of the field, they must be the same data type. So you can relate a, a text field to a text field, a number field to a number field, a date field to a date field, but you can't relate a text field to a number field. They have to be the same data type. To create the relationship, first of all, I'm going to look at my student table and my results table. And I'm going to drag the student ID field from the student table and drop it on the student ID field in the table result. This is going to create a relationship from student ID to student ID in the student table and in the result table. So I just click create. I'm then going to create a relationship between the student table and the student and class table by dragging student ID and dropping it on student ID. And when you see this window just ensure that it is student ID to student ID and if it isn't then cancel and recreate it again. So I'll go create. 
I'd like to create a relationship between the table class and the table student in class using class ID. So I drag class ID to class ID. Check that this is correct here and create. I'd like to create a relationship using instructor ID. So I drag instructor ID and drop it on instructor ID and again create. And last but not least, I'd like to create a relationship between the table assignment and the table result using the field assignment ID. So I drag assignment ID to assignment ID and create again. And what I've effectively done is created the relationships between my tables in this particular database.